What is going on everybody? My name is Gabriel Arrington, AKA Blue Gabe. We're out here on Lake Okeechobee, getting ready to go after some big, ginormous bluegill. G3 Outfitters, a good friend of mine, Brad Gibson, called me and said that they were spawning. Told me I needed to grab some beetle spins, some worms, and get after them. So, worked all day, got home, my girlfriend was ready, picked Redneck up, and now we're going to get after some bluegills. Hopefully even find some shell crackers. So, y'all stay tuned, it's about to get real. Almost got my shoe. Woo! Redneck, you can't get him. Look at that huge catfish. I wish I could show you all this, but the glare is so bad, I don't think you can see it. Got the third cast, y'all. All right, so this is what we're throwing. Y'all can see just a little beetle spin. I don't think it really matters what color. Just slow rolling it across the beds. But we're not even ready. I was just seeing what would work. So we're gonna turn this bad boy loose. I did bring some worms, little hooks and bobbers in case they didn't eat these, but I just got in and caught one the second or third cast, so they're gonna eat them. Look at that, I mean, they don't get any prettier or bigger. Ooh. Our big game fish all over the country, all over the world. You can't beat little panfish to me. It's just fishing. Look, oh, there he is. And these jokers eat good. Now normally I would say that this is a kid friendly fishery, but judging on the amount of alligators we saw, I wouldn't recommend doing this with your kids. Look at these big old copperheads. Look at that big fish. All right, zing it out there. I'm pretty sure there's a big gator coming through that grass right now. Well, what else do you think it is? Sasquatch? There is so many alligators out here, guys. I cannot. This is where me and deer meet, which hopefully by now all y'all know that Robert Arrington deer meat for dinner is my brother. This is where we kill all of our big gators, but right now they have the lake down real low, so we can fortunately stand out here. Babe, right between your legs. Don't. <laughs> Long cast. There you go, now reel it. You'll have one this cast. Oh gosh, that was a big one. There he is. Fish on, oh that's a shell cracker, that's a different one. Don't reel anymore, don't reel anymore. Pick him up to you. All right y'all, she's done caught a different species. Back years ago for some reason, these shell crackers, over the last couple years have not came in and spawned as much as they used to. But back when we were young, these would be in the middle. There would literally be thousands. In an area like this, every square inch would be a spawning shell cracker. And this one's tiny. But now we, we don't see them like we used to see them. I don't know why. I'm actually going to turn this one loose. It's a female. All right, another long cast. All right, so for all y'all wondering, you see these big beds? 
These are what these bluegills are in here spawning on. Normally it would be all mud and you couldn't see all those shells, but this is what they're in here spawning on. A lot of people think Lake Okeechobee is a mud hole. It's actually not. Like, look, there's a conch shell. Ow, my boat's running me over. Look, that's a conch shell. That wasn't placed here by a person. Lake Okeechobee is a sandy bottom lake. Now there is some mud in Lake Okeechobee, but it's a sandy bottom lake. Ow, a lot of sharp stuff down there too. It don't get no better. Biggin'. Look at the colors on that one. We call them copperheads because that bit of copper right there. When they're in the water, it's dark purple and copper. Beautiful little fish. Pretty much everybody that fishes starts out catching these little bluegills. Whether it's off a dock or on the edge of a bank somewhere in a grandpa's pond. What did you start out fishing? On a dock. What did you catch? What was your first fish? Sunfish. Well, that's pretty much what these are. Y'all just have. Y'all just have. <laughs> Y'all call them sunfish. We call them bluegills. I like some fish better. You like cheese curds. <laughs> I bet you there's a lot of people that like cheese curds. Rednick, what do you think? Yeah. Look at that one's orange. All right, we've been saying this is the last cast for the last hour, and I just lost my grub, so we'll see y'all in the kitchen. Oh, those are rocks, in case y'all are wondering. on the menu bluegill you just watched us catch them I'm not gonna cook in all my videos I definitely am not gonna just do catch clean and cooks we're gonna do all kinds of crazy stuff the mosquitoes are horrible outside so I'm only gonna show you all how to clean one then I'll show you how to cook them this can get messy and your wife or girlfriend will probably kick you out if you do this very much so you get the point I'm taking the scales off I'm trying not to get them all in the house and it ain't working. So this is what you gotta do when you're trying not to wreck the house. We might need to call a plumber when we're done, but at least, I think my idea worked, I think. So we got all the scales off of them. Now we're just gonna cut their heads off and gut them. Pretty grotesque, but. like that. Nothing left but a little bit of entrails. See that's a male. That's the sperm. Most of the time when fish are spawning the males will come in and get the beds ready and the females will come in anytime on the moon either the new moon or the full moon. All these right here are males which means the females are somewhere close by. But they're not ready to spawn yet. I'm gonna fry the fish in some Zatarain's fish fry. 
You can use straight cornmeal, straight flour, cornmeal flour mix, or you can buy some prepackaged stuff. I am going to add just a little bit of Everglades fish and chicken. My favorite for, part, my favorite part, my favorite part by far are the fins. I'm sure there's directions, but we add about that much. Not sure how much that was. Turn the grease back up. Make sure your fins are all floured wet. Put him back in the grease. I bet he didn't think he was going to end up in that grease when I hooked him with that beetle spin. If you're cooking grits, you better pay attention to them because they'll stick to the bottom, they'll get lumpy, they'll get hot, cook real fast, and then stay with the grits. Stay with the grits. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at them bad boys. The tails are crunchy. The fish is perfect. Woo. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. All right, well we got our onion rings, our fish, our grits. Look at this. I don't, I know Southerners will know about these grits, but just add a little bit of salt, pepper, some butter. Mmm. A little bit of ketchup. A little bit of mayonnaise. Whatever. It'll work. Let me tell y'all what you don't do in front of a Canadian. You do not accidentally sit down at the table with a hat on. You will immediately get scalded. All right, dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for finally letting us get a good video in. Even though we've had many tries, today was a success. Thank you for dying on the cross. Forgive us of our sins. Amen. Amen. Now let's try it. That's actually really good. That's what I'm talking about. Now, this part of the fish, you got to be a little bit careful for pin bones, but all this, you can just peel it off. All right, well, we hope you all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please hit subscribe. Give us a comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you didn't like, what you did like, what you'd like to see us do in the future. Until then, we're going to enjoy this fish. We'll see y'all later.